The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Revelation. Then I saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. And I heard how many had been sealed, 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw that there was a huge number, impossible for anyone to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted in a loud voice, Salvation to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle around the throne, surrounding the elders and the four living creatures, prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshiping God with these words, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Who are these people dressed in white robes? And where have they come from? I answered him, You can tell me, sir. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great trial. They have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. And our response is taken from Psalm 24. To Yahweh belong the earth and all it contains, the world and all who live there. It is He who laid its foundations on the seas, on the flowing waters, fixed it firm. Who shall go up to the mountain of Yahweh? Who shall take a stand in His holy place? The clean of hands and pure of heart, whose heart is not set on vanities, who does not swear an oath in order to deceive. Such a one will receive blessing from Yahweh, saving justice from the God of His salvation. Such is the people that seeks Him, that seeks your presence, God of Jacob. And our second reading is from the first letter of the Apostle John. You must see what great love the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, which is what we are. The reason why the world does not acknowledge us is that it did not acknowledge Him. My dear friends, we are already God's children, but what we shall be in the future has not yet been revealed. We are well aware that when He appears, we shall be like Him because we shall see Him as He really is. And whoever treasures this hope of Him purifies himself to be pure as He is pure. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went onto the mountain, and when He was seated, His disciples came to Him. Then He began to speak, and this is what He taught them. How blessed are the poor in spirit! The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the gentle, they shall have the earth as inheritance. Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for uprightness, they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be recognized as children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of uprightness, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. The Gospel of the Lord.